Welcome everybody. We have a very shortened version of the R12 webinar here because we had some problems with the original recording. So Joel will just give us a shortened overview and then um, show you where you can or who you can contact if you have any more information and where the information is on the ANS website. So over to you Joel. Thanks Suzanne. This is going to just explain, we'll just do a quick overview of the release 12 that went out in uh, March. Um, so it'll just be a high level overview and then I'll point you in the direction of some help um, where you can get more information on the ANS website. Um, so what I'll go over today is um, the research on Australia record tagging and annotation um, functionality. Uh, display of multiple records which describe the same objects. This is linking multiple records with the same identifiers. I won't go into the search ranking algorithm, but we've done some tweaks to the search in Research Site Australia to make it more accurate. Um, so you should be able to notice some improvements there. Very quickly into the theme badges for records um, and a bit of information about the Site My Data Broken Link reporting tool. Um, so the first one that I'll go into, because it's on the next slide, is the identifiers linking um, that we've put in place in Research Site of Australia. Um, so this is really a way of um, basically asserting that records are the same if they're described using the same identifier um, or identifiers that can be tracked through a series of records related to the same entity. Um, so on, on the screen at the moment, what you can see is I've got two records, one for John Smith and one for Jay Smith. Um, and pretty clearly you can see that they both share the same identifier. So what we've done in Research Data Australia is we've actually um, put some functionality in that links these two records visually for users using Research Data Australia and they can uh, discover and explore the links between the records. The links that we do uh, sort of cascade or, or waterfall through a series of records. So in the example I've got on the screen where we've got five records displayed, um, the very top record and the top left record, Jingo Smith and John Smith, do share the same identifier, but they don't necessarily share, John Smith doesn't necessarily share the same identifier as Jazza Smith down the bottom left hand side. But because across those records they are identified using shared identifiers, we can actually assert that they are talking about the same person. Um, and as we work our way around the five records, we can actually work out that all five records are, are talking about the same party. Now the linking of records in Research Start Australia happens for all class types. So the example I've got on the screen at the moment is for parties, but the, the linking across with the identifiers will happen for all the four class types, parties, services, activities and collections. So what this looks like in Research Data Australia, I'll just flick over to Research Data Australia. Um, so this is just the test environment, so there'll be some uh, interesting looking data, so please ignore that. Um, but if I just do a search for one of my test records, now this look at, looks in Research Data Australia, there's, there's two sort of aspects to it. There is the search results, and as you can see here, my test record for Sarah Connor. Um, what we do in the search results where we have records that are linked by shared identifiers, we actually merge them into a single search result in the, in the search page that you're looking at. Um, so you can see here for Sarah, there's actually three records that are linked with uh, common identifiers. Um, and the two down the bottom are, are additional records that are also in the search results, but have merged into this uh, sort of what we're calling a primary record in the search results. Now the other two records that are merged in are in the search results further on, um, but in, in, in the search results for S. Connor, we'll actually see Sarah Connor down in the bottom as linked records. In the record view page for the linked records, we have a little prompt at the top just to sort of indicate to the users that there are linked records that exist for this um, record that you're viewing. And there's a little drop down arrow that is in the breadcrumbs at the top of the page. And you can actually click that and access the linked records quite quickly and quickly and see who the contributors are of those records. So I can quickly navigate off to Sarah Connor or S. Connor from Sarah Connor. Um, Another thing to, to note quickly on the linked records is the connections um, with the linked records, all the connections from the three records in this example for Sarah, so there's three, all the uh, related objects from these three records are merged into the one uh, connections box on the right hand side. So in Sarah Connor, I can actually see the, the uh, related objects from S Connor and S E Connor. Um, and that'll be the same if I went over to S Connor, I would have the same view of what's in Sarah Connor. Um, because the records are merged across. Um, so that's a very quick um, overview of the linked functionality that we're putting into Research Data Australia. Okay, so the next item I'm going to go through is the uh, tagging and annotation functionality that we've put into Research Data Australia. Um, you may have noticed that there is a little person icon up uh, near the search bar in the header. 
Um, and that allows users to log into Research Southern Australia via uh, the four service providers that are shown on the screen at the moment. Um, once logged in, users will be able to annotate records with um, meaningful keywords or phrases um, that relate to a record. Um, so if I just jump into a collection, collections, and scroll down under the subjects area of uh, a record in Research Southern Australia, so this is any record, you'll see here that there's now a new title called User Contributed Tags and a couple of tags that um, I've added during testing. So once logged in, um, there's a little login down here at the moment, you'll actually see a text box and a button um, where you can add tags to the record. And these are publicly visible tags, so other users of Research Data Australia can see these tags and also search for them. Um, I can't log in at the moment in the test environment, so you'll have to excuse that issue at the moment. Um, for data source administrators, if you're uh, the owner of the, of the data or the, the records in Research Data Australia, there is some functionality in the registry um, to, to moderate and sort of um, manage the tags that are added to your records. Um, so I'll just quickly log in to show you where to find that. So if you are a DSA, um, now under the tools menu, uh, you'll see an option for bulk tag and this takes you to the bulk tagging screen where you have access to all the tags that are added to your records. Um, and you can quickly add tags by the tag field here um, and you can delete the tags as well by the delete icon. And you can obviously do searches and add tags to multiple records at a time. Um, there is a little help link in the top right hand side and just clicking on that will take you to information about the tags um, and, and how to add and remove them and, and things like that. Um, so that should be pretty straightforward for people. Uh, the next one I'll quickly show, very minor, um, is theme page badges in Research Data Australia. Um, so you, you, you probably noticed in a couple of releases back we introduced themes. Um, so these are groupings of, of records in Research Data Australia that relate obviously to a specific theme. Um, so what we've done for this release is we've actually tagged records that belong to a theme in the record view page with a, with a little icon that you can see up the top right here. So this just indicates to users that this collection that they're looking at, which they may have come across from Google or a search in Research Data Australia, that actually belongs to a larger theme and there may be other records that are of interest to, to the user. Um, so you'll probably come across these in, in records in Research Data Australia. Now last but not least is just the DOI link checker uh, tool that we've put in place as part of R12. Um, so this is really for Site My Data users um, and account holders. So in the registry um, under the DOI query tool, just pick any random account. Um, there is now an option on the top right hand side here to check DOI links and that will run a report across all the URLs associated with your production DOI. So DOIs are admitted without uh, the test prefix um, and it will give you back a report saying if there's any links that can't be accessed basically um, and you'll see a, a report in the, the activity log like this one here. You can see there's a, a report has been run and we've discovered five broken links um, for this client. Now the, the job uh, is on demand via the DOI query tool, but ANS will also be running the job on a quarterly basis and sending out Jira tickets um, to account holders um, if we find any broken links um, so that they can uh, fix the issues. Um, so where to go for more help? So that's pretty much it for, for our, the, the quick overview of R12. Um, if you need further information on the ANS website, um, there is under online services news, oh, sorry, news and events, and services news. Uh, there's all the information about the releases that are they're upcoming or, or happening or have happened, I should say. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit to ANS Online Services 12, you get the sort of information about what was changed. But there's also a link here to the ANS Software Release 12 page, and that again gives you a high level overview of what's changed and how things will look in Research Data Australia and, and how to use some of the functionality. Um, if you have any other other questions, you can go to uh, send an email to services.ans.org.au and they should be able to help you out. This is the URL just to that page that I just showed you with the, the nice diagrams for R12. Um, and if you need any more information, you can contact services at ANS. I'll be happy to help. Thanks, everyone. We're sorry that the original one wasn't able to be um, put up on YouTube for you all, but contact services and we'll be able to help you with any inquiries or problems that you have.